name is Major Barbara Carvo. My husband and I are the Corps Officers or Pastors Administrators here at the Salvation Army in Asbury Park, New Jersey. My sister married a gentleman whose family grew up in the Army and attended the Salvation Army and she took me to a Girl Guard program one uh, Tuesday afternoon at the Dover, New Jersey Corps. And from there I got interested in, in Girl Guards and became a soldier, started attending uh, all the other activities for youth, I learned how to play the tambourine, uh, was a Corps cadet, honor junior soldier. It was a safe place, it was a home away from home. It was at a Corps cadet congress in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania when I was 14 years old. And uh, I was uh, kneeling at the altar on the Sunday morning and just felt God specifically uh, say to me that, that an officer is, is what he wanted of me. They do have classes in training. They do talk about the woman's role uh, in the Salvation Army. Uh, it differs when you're single uh, from when you're married. They, they did talk about uh, Catherine and William and how they as a team uh, work together uh, to form and to create and to grow the Salvation Army. And her role uh, was that of she, she didn't sit in the background. She was in the forefront, out on the, the front lines with, with her husband, with William. And there were many, many different women uh, in the Salvation Army. Uh, the women general that we had, um, uh, Evangeline Booth and Eva Burroughs, that were great influences. When I was commissioned, I went to assist for a year, but then I had two appointments in charge as a single woman. And it's, it's a very different ball game because you're wearing all the hats. It was a wonderful time because I got to meet even more single women. I got to meet more married women officers who had given their service and who had um, really paved the way uh, for women. And um, there I also met my husband. It was in that ministry with my husband, uh, us trying to figure out, okay, what roles would we have? Being that I was a single woman, I was in charge of two appointments myself, got married, and, and now how do we blend together? And my heart has always been in, in the ministry, in the program part of things. And so working with women's groups has been a wonderful ministry, and we do have a women's group here. Uh, we working with children, uh, that's, that's one portion of the women's uh, responsibility, but preaching. I, I love preaching on Sundays, we take turns with my husband, getting to know people, letting people know that not only do we care about them, but most of all, that Jesus Christ cares for them and loves them and that they can have a bigger family. Once they come to the army, they'll, they'll feel like this is my second family. And it's been a, it's been a privilege uh, over these 40 years. I wouldn't do anything different because God has blessed me abundantly and I give him all the praise. <laughs>